Hey there, we're going to take you through a series of videos that will give you a general overview of Bistol 360 features. In this video, we will learn the fundamentals of the ESP exception management. Anyone that has used the ESP portal that comes with the ESP toolkit in Bistol knows it's not very easy to deploy and use the portal. And so in Bistol 360, we built a ESP portal that comes with the product and that is very, very easy to use. You just need to specify the connection string to the ESP exception management database and everything is ready to run. And so what we made available in Bistol 360 is the ability for you to query the ESP exception database. This follows the Bistol 360 common querying capability. This includes the ability to query against the faults in the exception database. We can run a simple query and see the list of faults in the results. We can also choose to filter based on the available fields. For instance, we could choose to filter based on daytime. And so we see just one fault that matches the criteria. Another thing we can do is also to visualize the details of a particular fault. So here we have the fault details. We also have the exception details of why this message has been sent to the fault database and we can also see the messages associated with the fault. In this case we have only one message and if I click on the details we can see the properties of the message, we can see the context properties and also the content. One of the features we also made available is the ability to edit and resubmit. So we can correct the message and then we can submit the message back to Bistal. We can choose through which receive location we want to resubmit and you can see the message has been successfully resubmitted. Another option we provide is now the ability to do bulk resubmit. So we can select multiple messages and resubmit them at one go. This is particularly useful when you have multiple messages that failed due to connectivity issues and you want to resubmit all of them back to Bistol. So you can choose here which port you want to send them through and you can hit submit for all selected messages. And then we can see here a sub summary screen for all the resubmissions and we can see these messages cannot be submitted because they have already been submitted before. Another feature we also introduced is the ability for you to download the message as a file or send it through email. And if you want to export this grid result set, you can download this as a CSV file. As with any querying capability within Bistol 360, you can open, save, copy and delete queries. And this is all for ESP exception management.